should be proud Cause you look so good, baby I might just forget to pull out And what I pull out We're gonna talk about the coronavirus Um, honestly There's a lot of reaction going on A lot of emotion Um, you see the news They're going crazy Just, you know, exaggerating the story And understand with every subject Every topic, every piece of news The news will always exaggerate what's going on understand something too before i continue if this pandemic or this virus was that just deadly to just anybody you think there would be people in the news next to each other talking about this virus they're telling people don't be next to people don't stand next to people don't stand close to people but they're next to their own colleagues on the news it makes it like under like understand the severity of this this whole situation but in this video there's two parts i'm gonna give you guys just some steps and some ways to decrease this risk of catching corona and just how to avoid any kind of like any kind of contact or whatever you know try to take some measures and some precaution here and then you're gonna hear my feelings and thoughts on the second part if you wish to stay for the second part i appreciate you but if you only want to watch the first part by all means you can hit the like button and x out the video when you see that I'm finished. So the coronavirus, um, one thing is a lot of people, it's not that they're misinformed, it's just how exaggerating just every statement, every piece of news that we hear is being put at such a high level for no reason, when at the end of the day, it's a bacteria that yes, it sticks, it sticks longer than just any kind of bacteria, any other bacteria, and it requires a little bit more work and more treatment you know, more medicine, I guess, and just more, I guess, preparation to kind of protect yourself, decrease the risk, but it's still just the flu. It's just a more effective flu that can cause harm to you. Yes. However, when you hear people say that it's affecting people above the ages of 50 and kids, stop taking that and saying that kids and older people are dying. There has been no record of any kids dying from this. Like there's no kids dying from this. There's a lot of old people who die from flu because why their immune systems are weak. Their bodies can't fight against this bacteria. The coronavirus is much stronger than the average flu. Therefore, it is killing older people much faster. You hear this all the time when, you know, right when the winter starts, the news wants to say, listen, the flu is going crazy right now. A lot of people are getting sick. You know, we already have 300 deaths. Why no one panics then? Because we know it as the flu. And you hear it all the time that elderly people are just you know they dying from this unfortunately but that's just with any flu they are dying from this pneumonia and just anything else they're gonna die from this because most older people who have died from it just were not healthy enough and their immune systems were not strong enough to fight against it there are 50 60 70 year old people who have very strong immune systems very healthy very active who can fight against this it comes down to you being healthy you could be 25 with the coronavirus and god forbid you know, you die from it, but it has to be because you are an unhealthy individual. Not, you don't hear about 20, 30 year olds dying from the coronavirus. But when you see somebody in the news and they have a, a phone call with someone on the news, you see they looking like 50, 60 sick. And sometimes look, they don't even look healthy themselves. That's why a lot of people are panicking. They thinking like this virus, like this, this virus is going to just kill you. No, it's not. It's a virus. You got Rudy Gobert where he just, he got caught up with this. And what's happening with him? They're treating it. Just because he's a basketball player doesn't mean he got the, enough money to come treat it. No, they're treating the same way as everybody else. It's a flu. It's just more harmful, much higher risk, and it's more dangerous because of the way it's being spread and how people are catching this. So traditionally, you have to go back to your roots. I work at the hospital and I'm over here like, all right, well, so what kind of measures we gotta take? Soap and water. Wash your hands. This time, you should at any workplace or at home, always clean your doorknobs wash your dishes the right way wash everything that you see people walk in you have people who used to tell you take off your sneakers when you get into the house this is not new why is everyone taking it in such a way that they're so shocked like this this is not new we have bacteria that is that crazy we have people with skin disease that's airborne where you get close to them and you can kind of you could catch it yes but because we call it the coronavirus and it's all People are going ballistic, they're going crazy. It is the flu. It's just a much more harmful flu. When the swine flu happened, because of pigs, when Ebola happened, Ebola was scary because it was killing people in three days. 
they finally found a way to treat it. 88% of people have a success rate when they catch Ebola now. Why are people panicking so much? One, you should be taking care of yourself anyways. Two, hygiene, you should always be washing your hands. You shouldn't even be touchy-touchy with people on an everyday basis anyways. I mean, we're not talking about significant other. I'm talking about just anyone in general. You should never be putting your hands in your mouth. You should be teaching your kids not to do that as well. And you should always carry hand sanitizer. However, hand sanitizer is not gonna help you from this. Wash your hands with soap and water. Soap and water, man. Stop touchy-touchy right now because at this point in time, it is a huge pandemic. It's, it's like why it's spreading all over the place. Wash your hands. Don't get too touchy with people. Kind of be distant a little bit with people. Don't get in too many crowded areas. That's it. If you're on the train, cool, wear the mask. But all I'm going to tell you is everybody's touching their cell phone. So like how safe are you guys trying to be? Those who's posting memes and posting things about this virus is scared but you're posting it on a phone you probably had so much bacteria on it like i don't get it like you guys understand god forbid you have an anxiety attack or you go into some kind of like situation where now you have to seek medical treatment and you end up sick not even because of the flu anybody with their kids listen school is done i'm sorry i'm jealous you got i can't miss work they're not closing my job down i work in a hospital we gotta stay up we have to stay up. We have to show up to work. The kids who are off from school, stay home. Play your video games. Do your homework. You're good. Some of the jobs that are required paid leave, stay home. Rack up in some food, you know, in the, the appropriate fashion. And just clean. Clean up. People are taking this in such a different direction because of the news. I understand, the, like, you know, with Trump and what he's trying to do with this shit. But understand that they're going to exaggerate it. And Trump has always been wild with it where he wants to stop us from traveling to Cuba and all these other places. Don't take that shit like, yo, it's that deadly. And don't become prejudiced and pointing out Chinese people. No, this is just anywhere. This is anything, anyone. Like I see people really doing the most and it's disgusting. It's the flu. We've been battling different flus for years. Take precaution. Anytime you feel like you're getting sick, what's the first thing we do? I need to take a mucinex or I need to take medicine. Take medicine immediately. Stop being stubborn. Stop waiting until you feel the pains and stuff to where this, God forbid you catch coronavirus, where it makes you that sick. Because the flu makes people that sick. Don't forget how the flu makes you feel. You feel like you're about to die. The coronavirus makes you feel like that. Times 10 probably. You need to take the same measures as every other flu. But it shouldn't have to take a coronavirus to have people be on their on their head, on their toes, on their feet with keeping clean and washing their hands and not being so touchy touchy. They're canceling movies. They're canceling sports. Sports is suspended. Venues. A lot of stuff is being canceled right now. Flights, events. This is serious. But for you and your safety, you need to do the correct measures. You need to follow the proper protocol. Look at what the news is telling you. If you feel symptoms and you're sick, stay home. Don't touch germs. Don't touch dirt. Don't put your hands in your mouth. Use hand sanitizer and use water and soap. Wash your hands clean after everything. When you have the flu, I hope you guys are doing that because when I'm sick and, you know, unfortunately, if I ever caught the flu, everything I touch, I clean and every piece of clothing that I wear, I immediately take off as soon as I take a shower and I put it in the hamper. What they're telling you to do is the same steps that you follow with the flu. It should not take a pandemic or something like this to have people go out their way and start buying hand sanitizer. That shit should have been done for years. That being said, calm down a little bit, take the proper protocol, wash your hands, soap and water. If you're feeling your throat's getting sore, take some medicine, take some cough drops, I suggest drinking some green tea, some herbal tea, some turmeric. All you gotta do, if you still feel it, go to the doctor. It's the same thing as just the flu, just at a much more harmful, much more higher risk. But there's ways to decrease this risk, as I just said. Now, that being said, let's really get down to shit. I've experienced today something that I better never experience again in my life. Everyone in this damn world you ought to be ashamed of your damn self. If I ever, not even, this better be the last time that I go to a supermarket more than once 
more than one and motherfucking milk is sold out how the fuck is milk sold out and not even that soy milk no one buys soy milk who buys soy milk bitch silk is always full in the freezer no one buys soy milk now all of a sudden this this whole shit of coronavirus motherfuckers is buying soy milk women i love women i love you women but y'all out here saying i don't like using pediasure and all these other things i'd rather use breast milk and all that pediasure is sold out y'all wilding right now everybody is bugging the fuck out people are fighting over toilet paper dude do you not realize you might be fighting over toilet paper with somebody who got corona so you snatch that shit you go home now with corona bro y'all taking this shit so serious corona got y'all tweaking right now corona got y'all dancing right now i went to the aisle where there was pens and papers and all the pens are sold out how much writing do y'all need to do why the fuck are pens sold out Bitch, we in the age of technology where everybody's typing shit with their phone. And I can't find a damn pen to save my life. I go to the supermarket, right? I go to the fridge aisle. Ricotta cheese is sold out. Who eats that shit? Tell me. I'm waiting. Who eats ricotta cheese and why is that shit sold out? Why is ricotta cheese sold out, bro? There's shit I don't expect to be sold. There's a home for bootleg cereal bootleg cereal is sold out there's no captain crunch fruity pebbles none of that you go to the bootleg cereal not even the bags is available y'all really going crazy right now bootleg cereal is known to have a staple for themselves they live in the supermarket nobody buys bootleg cereal that's their fucking home right there until the shit expires that's the only time you remove bootleg cereal out the goddamn aisle is when the shit expires because nobody's buying that cereal. And that shit is sold out. It's so bad that because bootleg cereal wasn't being bought at one point, they started stuffing pounds of that bitch in a bigger bag. That shit is sold out. I went to the freezer aisle, walked past ice. There's no ice in the freezer. Y'all going crazy right now. Ice is sold out. It ain't even the summer yet. Y'all just buying every damn thing y'all see. The meat and produce was running low in the supermarket. People was buying liver. Ew. Y'all just buying shit to buy shit because y'all scared of this virus. This virus got y'all fucked up. Hand sanitizer sold out. Bath and Body Works doesn't even have the cheap glittery hand sanitizer. Y'all bugging out. Corona got y'all forgetting that y'all just did y'all taxes too. Fuck y'all whole money up. Fuck the whole vibe up. And you notice the coronavirus just started going crazy when tax season started. That shit fucked up y'all whole vibe. Nobody's spending their taxes right now. Motherfuckers is living in I Am Legend. Y'all walking into these supermarkets like it's Black Friday and there's a huge ass sale going on. And y'all buying every damn thing y'all see. Even them nasty peanut chewy candies from Halloween is sold out. Candy corn is sold out. Nasty bitch. Non-flavored rice cakes is sold out. Why? Motherfuckers is really not going to the club now because of the corona. Y'all motherfuckers is pop locking, and dropping it for this corona too. Y'all motherfucking tripping. I literally came home with no milk. How? Bitch, I couldn't even buy powdered milk if I wanted to. Y'all bugging the fuck out. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Motherfuckers is afraid of blink, yo. You might see a dude coughing. Shit, one of my doctors I work with today, nigga just kept sneezing and coughing. I look back like, yo, have some respect, bro. There's some shit going on today, yo. It's called Corona, my nigga. You can't keep doing that. Go to the bathroom, bro. He said it's allergies. Yeah, okay. You look half dead. This shit is so bad that no patients came into my unit today. How? Like this Corona scaring homeless people. Homeless people rather stay where they at. After all these Friday night going to the club, sharing each other's drinks, sweating up a storm and meeting somebody there, kissing them nasty breath head ass. And now y'all decide to be clean.
Coronavirus is so bad, that shit got vegans eating meat. Seeing homie buying chicken breasts. I'm like, yo, man, what you doing with that shit? He's like, shit. Grass ain't gonna help my immune system, nigga. I need some boost, nigga. <laughs> Fighting over toilet paper. That goes to show, man, y'all wasn't wiping your ass right. <laughs>